many of the fundamental epilepsy questions have still not been answered. Uh, we don't know, for example, why there are different types of seizures in the brain. I just participated in a reclassification of seizure types, and we had hoped at the start that we could classify the seizures based upon a scientific understanding of why there are different kinds of seizures, but we don't uh, know yet uh, why there are. Uh, we don't know why seizures stop. We are just starting to define the network in the brain that involves uh, seizures, so we need to need, need to know more about what that uh, network um, entails, how the system all fits together, how seizures propagate. Um, we don't know uh, in perhaps as many as half of the cases what's causing an individual's uh, seizures, so we, we need to know more about that. Um, a lot of it, uh, I think, is genetic, but it's multiple genes. It's very complicated. Many of the genes are mutations without a previous family history. Uh, and even if we know the gene, we uh, still usually, not always, but usually don't know why that gene produces a particular phenotypic syndrome and why that phenotypic syndrome may be very variable even with uh, different genes. So I could go down the list and generate dozens more uh, unanswered questions. Uh, it's a good thing for the young people in the field because there's a lot of uh, work that has yet to be done. Epilepsy is really far from a settled field.